Hi everyone, welcome to a brand new YouTube video here on the G Show Productions YouTube channel. I'm your boy Graham, the G Show Forsyth, and I'm back here to talk about the 2023 World Junior Hockey Championships, most notably uh, as it is the topic of today's video, Team Canada's roster. This roster has been finalized. This is the group of players that will be playing in Moncton and Halifax come Boxing Day uh, as another World Junior Hockey Championships is right around the corner. I'm so excited to talk about Team Canada's roster in this video tonight. I hope you guys are excited as well. And yeah, let's get into it right now. The 2023 World Junior Hockey Championship roster for Team Canada. Their forwards and defense. Johnson, in for the stake on it. Pulls it back away. Can't find it. Johnson in the road. Oh, Sandy Mouse scores. Ken Johnson, a golden goal in Canada. Team Canada returned to glory at the World Junior Hockey Championships this summer, defeating Finland in overtime in the gold medal game to claim their 19th gold medal in Hockey Canada history and their second in the last three years. Canada won the tournament in Edmonton back in August, and they're looking to win back-to-back -back on home soil for the upcoming World Junior Hockey Championships, of course, in Moncton and Halifax. And going back-to-back -back is always a challenge, and there's always going to be other good teams, especially in a tournament like this. And there are talented players who were left off of this roster, and players that should have been invited to this roster, but weren't. And, you know, for Canada, they still come into the 2023 World Junior Hockey Championships with a gold medal contending roster, even with the talent that has been left off. And this team boasts a roster which includes two projected top three prospects for the upcoming NHL entry draft for 2023 in Connor Bedard and Adam Fantilli. And outside of Fantilli and Bedard, there's a lot to like on this Canadian team from top to bottom. Starting with Canada's blue line, Team Canada has elected to go with with seven defensemen, that's always the norm for this team in this tournament. And those seven players are Nolan Allen, Ethan Del Mastro, Tyson Hines, Kevin Korchinski, Jack Mattier, Olin Zellweger, and Brant Clark. Team Canada has a lot to like on defense. They left off Carson Lambos, a player that plays for the Winnipeg Ice. He's known to be a complete 200-foot defenseman, but when he's played in the World Juniors, he hasn't gotten the most opportunity, but in that short opportunity he's had, he hasn't looked that impressive uh, at a level that you would expect a defenseman for him to be at. So, uh, surprising cut there to some, uh, maybe not to others, but, you know, looking at this Team Canada roster, their defense. It's a decor that is a group that consists of offensively skilled D-men as well as defensemen with size. All of the defensemen on Team Canada's roster except for Olin Zellweger are over six feet tall and speaking of Olin Zellweger, the defenseman for the Everett Silvertips was Canada's top point producer in 2022. He's tied third on his club team in points this year. Uh, Kevin Korchinski is an offensive catalyst on the Seattle Thunderbirds Blue Line. He's on pace for 84 points in 63 games this season. Ethan Del Mastro, a player for the Mississauga Steelheads. He's mobile. He's a puck mover. He's aggressive as well. And Team Canada is also getting a player in Brant Clark in this tournament who's played against pros this season in the AHL and also playing for the LA Kings. He's got high IQ and he put up 59 points in 55 games with the Barry Colts last season, his OHL team. Size-wise, as already mentioned, all defensemen but one are over six feet tall on this team's blue line and the size of Canada's D comes in of an average of six foot one 189 pounds so they definitely got some physicality some size there and they got those players that yes they are big they are physical but they use their gifts very well their physical gifts that is in their own end especially and I expect for this uh, team Canada defense to be really active in the play and I expect for them to get things done in their own end and defend well around their goaltenders and give them the success they need there. 
Two notable players were left off of Team Canada's forward group, and that's Jordan Dumay and Zachary Balduk. Both of them were cut. Uh, Balduk has put up 43 points in 24 games played for the AK Back Ramparts this season in the QMJHL, while Jordan Dumay has had a really nice season for himself, uh, putting up 54 points in 25 games played for the Halifax Mooseheads in the QMJHL. And, you know, a player in Matt Savoy wasn't even invited to camp. He's put up over 30 points playing at a point per game pace for the uh, Winnipeg Ice, the best team or one of the best teams in the WHL. And yeah, you know, I think that uh, this seems to happen uh, with Team Canada where there are players that get left off the roster that based off of their skill should have made it and there are, you know, one or two questionable picks in there. But with them being left off, I think that Dume and Balduke are better than anyone in the uh, bottom six of this team, but maybe Canada felt like uh, they didn't have the best performances in camps, and, and you know maybe they just didn't fit the roster they wanted. I, I'm not too sure what the thought process was, but uh, this Team Canada forward group, I, I still do like it. It's got talent. It's got a good mix of skill and physicality in there. A lineup that should bring a lot of energy to the table as well and that's how team Canada likes to play with a lot of energy and i think it has a chance to be one of the best forward groups in the tournament it is led by i think two players that could be the best in this tournament one for sure that i think is going to be the best in connor bedard and the other in adam fantilli and outside of those two there is a, a lot to like with this forward group for Canada, and I do think that it could do damage against its opponents once Boxing Day does hit. And yeah, I mean, Logan Stankoven, man, he returns to this roster. He has been dominant at the World Junior Hockey Championships, and yeah, he's been tearing up the WHL in his own right this season for the Kamloops Blazers, putting up 44 points in 21 games so far and he was third on the world junior championship team in scoring back in the summer with 10 points in seven games played he'll be looking to be that difference maker once again as he's always been guys like goche ostapchuk othman Rob, they all return to this lineup from the summer team, Ostapchuk brings physicality and some offense to his game. 29 points in 21 games played for the Vancouver Giants. And uh, Goche does uh, the same. 29 points in 24 games played. Physical player. And yeah, Othman, Brennan Othman, he comes back. Point per game player in the summer. Six points in six games played. He's a player with very good puck protection skills. Uh, he'll be looking to dominate in this tournament. And yeah, this is a player that... Canada will be happy to have returning you know a player like raw he comes back 43 points in 26 games played so far with uh, his team in the QMJHL eight points in seven games played this past summer in the world juniors playing on the line with Connor Bedard uh, I don't think that happens this time unless they reunite them but yeah raw looking to carry in his strong season into this uh, December and January's world juniors Canada Benefits from NHL teams loaning them players at the forward position. Uh, Seattle loaned them Shane Wright, and the Arizona Coyotes loaned them uh, Dylan Gunther. Dylan Gunther, the ninth overall pick in the first round of the NHL draft in 2021. He's 6'2", 181 pounds. He's put up 11 points in 21 games so far this season for the Arizona Coyotes, so he's put up a good point production for how young he is in the league, getting experience playing against pros, uh, had an amazing season last year with the Edmonton Oil Kings, 59 games played, 45 goals, 46 assists for 91 points, so look for him to be a difference maker for Canada in this tournament as well as a guy in Shane Wright who has only played eight games with the Seattle Kraken as a rookie this year put up two points only but in the AHL he's put up better production uh four goals zero assists for uh the five games that he's played in with Coachella Valley and he was the fourth overall pick in this past NHL entry draft he's a player that's really good 200 feet complete player and a player that obviously has showcased the shot in the AHL he'll be looking to do that again as well as uh his good playmaking ability as well as he can set guys up 
at a good level. For the newcomers to this roster, Zach Dean brings a ton of skill with the puck, while Colton Dock brings physicality and an offensive skill set, and then Reed Schaefer uh, brings size to this roster, physicality. And, you know, Schaefer is a player that was considered a questionable choice, and he does bring size and an offensive touch as he's over a point per game at 29 points in 22 games played with the Seattle Thunderbirds so far this year, but Dume and um, Balduk obviously both way better offensively than him, but Schaefer must have had a good camp, and Team Canada likes players like this, a player that's physical and a player that can fill out the roster. And then back to the two players that highlight this Team Canada forward group in Connor Bedard and Adam Fantilli. I'll save the best for last in Connor Bedard, but Adam Fantilli, man, is having a really really good season with the University of Michigan in the NCAA. Uh, I've heard that he's putting up a historic season so far, and I wouldn't doubt it. I haven't checked up on that uh, fact, uh, as a matter of fact, but uh, 16 games played, 26 points for the University of Michigan, 11 goals, 15 assists, has the best points per game average in the whole entire NCAA right now, and yeah, he's got a high IQ, high awareness, excellent passer, and creates at a high level should be a lot of fun to watch for team canada in this upcoming tournament and then connor bedard a generational talent the consensus number one overall pick for the upcoming 2023 nhl entry draft already a player who has carried the regina pats once again this season and has 64 points in 28 games played on pace to play 62 games and put up a whopping 142 points he's played at the world juniors before he's shown he can be dominant in the world juniors before and he's been a true difference maker for Canada already in his world junior hockey career and he'll be looking to be a difference maker once again for Canada in his draft year playing in this tournament uh, looking to be that difference maker game in game out shift in shift out and you know for Connor Bedard he is a player who is just generational offensively. He is offensively dominant. He's a highly skilled offensive talent. The shot is so lethal. It's only gotten better as time goes along. He can beat you with it in so many ways. And he's got that high offensive IQ, makes players around him better, and can take over the game at will with his skill. And Connor Bedard leading this team alongside Adam Fantilli with Shane Wright, Dylan Gunther, Logan Stankoven, Brennan Othman in that top six projected to play there. Got guys like Joshua Raw and a guy like Zach Dean who were offensively skilled playing in the bottom six for this team most likely. Uh, you got players that are going to bring good energy in uh a lot of players in this lineup and overall you know this team canada team like i said the good mix of skill paired with uh the energy and the physicality i think should make for uh, one of the best forward groups in this tournament and one of the most exciting to watch at that <laughs> And you've made it to the end of this video on Team Canada's 2023 World Juniors roster here on G Show Productions on YouTube. If you guys did enjoy this video, feel free to leave it a like as well as consider subscribing and turning on notifications so you don't miss any future uploads to the channel. But yeah, Team Canada looking like they got a strong roster coming into this year's World Junior Hockey Championships. I want to hear from you guys. Uh, what do you think of this year's roster for Team Canada? Which player are you guys most excited to tune in to the games to watch for and yeah um do you think team canada takes home the gold winning back-to-back -back gold medals or do you think it will be another team would love to hear from you guys in the comments but until next time folks for another youtube video i've been your boy graham the g show forsyth giving you the salute peace and out and saying so long take care everybody